Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the most tragic and brutal moments from George R.R. Martin's Fire and Blood, the death of Rhaenyra Targaryen. So if you're caught up with House of the Dragon and you're ready for some spoilers, buckle up because things are about to get intense. In case you've forgotten, House of the Dragon takes place hundreds of years before the events of Game of Thrones. This means we already have some idea of how things will play out, including the fate of key characters like Rhaenyra Targaryen. And let me tell you, her end is anything but peaceful. I mean to fight this war and win it. First off, let's take a quick trip down memory lane to Game of Thrones, specifically Season 3, Episode 4. Remember when Joffrey Baratheon casually dropped a major spoiler about Rhaenyra's death? Yep, he gleefully tells Marjorie Tyrell. Rhaenyra was murdered by her brother, or rather his dragon. It ate her while her son watched. What's left of her is buried in the crypts right down there. Classic Joffrey, right? Rhaenyra Targaryen was murdered by her brother. But the foreshadowing doesn't stop there. In Season 5, Episode 9, Shireen Baratheon also gives us a glimpse into the bloody conflict known as the Dance of the Dragons. She explains, It's the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half-brother Aegon for control of the Seven Kingdoms. Both of them thought they belonged on the Iron Throne. When people started declaring for one of them or the other, their fight divided the kingdoms in two. Brothers fought brothers, dragons fought dragons. By the time it was over, thousands were dead. And it was a disaster for the Targaryens as well. They never truly recovered. The realm will soon tear itself apart if men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys and to his rightful heir. So, what exactly happens to Rhaenyra in Fire and Blood? Well, her death is orchestrated by her half-brother Aegon II in one of the most horrific ways imaginable. After a fierce battle for the Iron Throne, known as the Dance of the Dragons, Rhaenyra eventually claims the throne. But her reign is short-lived, marred by unrest and riots in King's Landing. Things take a drastic turn when Princess Helena, the sister-wife of Aegon II, takes her own life. This tragic event causes chaos in the city and Rhaenyra is forced to flee to Dragonstone. But her return to Dragonstone is far from a safe haven. She discovers that she has been betrayed, her loyal followers are dead, and Aegon II was already there, waiting for her. In a chilling encounter, Rhaenyra greets her half-brother with the words, Dear brother, I had hoped that you were dead. But Aegon has no intention of sparing her. He orders his dragon, Sunfire, to kill and eat her, right in front of her last remaining child, Prince Aegon the Younger. Here's how Fire and Blood describes the gruesome scene. Sunfire, it is said, did not seem at first to take any interest in the offering, until Broom pricked the queen's breast with his dagger. The smell of blood roused the dragon, who sniffed at her grace, then bathed her in a blast of flame, so suddenly that Sir Alfred's cloak caught fire as he leapt away. Rhaenyra Targaryen had time to raise her head toward the sky and shriek out one last curse upon her half-brother before Sunfire's jaws closed round her, tearing off her arm and shoulder. The horror doesn't end there. Sunfire devours Rhaenyra in six bites, leaving only her left leg below the shin. The sight is so horrific that one of Rhaenyra's ladies-in-waiting gouges out her own eyes, while Prince Aegon the Younger is left completely paralyzed by shock. And that, folks, is the brutal end of Rhaenyra Targaryen. It's a moment so shocking that it's no wonder it left a lasting impression on the Seven Kingdoms. But in a twist of irony, Prince Aegon the Younger eventually inherits the throne. A story that might unfold in future seasons of House of the Dragon. Oh, it's coming. Neither of us may win. So, what do you think? Are you ready to see this gruesome scene play out on screen, or is it just too much to handle? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of Westeros. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. We play an ugly game. You have the determination to win it.